waiting for their lives uh, next set of mobs. You don't see many people taking this, so I was not expecting expecting it. I guess they were looking for Buttered Hilt. Basically, first phase you put your normal totems out and again he deals AoE damage to the whole group you want to heal this as fast as possible because some people will not take second hit you see the close wearers like mage and what is it warlock uh, quite a lot of health is going down every AoE Now is the second phase, everybody needs to move close. You want to put your tremo totem out because you fear people out to the storm. And depends on how the totem ticks, uh, you may get lucky and not even uh, get out and take damage. I'm not sure what's the ticks of the totems, uh, you see they're not working every single second, it's like 3 seconds or something like that, the delay between, uh, between the spells they do, but we are all alive, oh crap, I can't speak today, honestly people Put some music on, turn uh, my rambling off, and watch it like that. I think it's much better. I think you are all looking where is the tank. Ah, here he is. It was really funny, you were all standing and looking around, where did the gnome go? And the mage is playing tank now. You see I have to heal it quickly, but tanks go to the rescue. And there is some purple drop. Mage transform one, one of the enemies into pig. That's really funny. Sometimes I envy. We can do frogs anyway. They can't do that. And my narcolepsy kicks again, falling asleep in the middle of the fight. Actually, it was all fight was over. Well, whatever. Let's keep moving. Don't forget to renew Earth Shield on your tank all the time because it's getting spent quite quickly here, especially because of the e AoE damage.
these ghosts ghosts are really nasty. You can skip the first one. But they are doing AoE to the whole group and pretty fast. You have to heal quickly. And also it uh, give buff or curse to the tank which uh, makes your heals much 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 less effective on him. So you will be spamming here chain heal as much as possible and if your group don't, don't know what uh, they are doing ask them to stay together close to the mob so chain heal will hit all of them Basically, DPS need to burn them down as fast as possible. And basically, just the whole dungeon. There is the last boss in front of us. I guess it's named uh, Host of Souls. I swear I seen uh, this dude, dude in a place, uh, what was the name, ah, my memory is not working today, is there Arta, not Arthas, the other guy, elf guy, with the panda blades, um, oh man, Hmm. Write it in the comments if you know. I just can't remember anything today. When he spawned this ghost, you need to keep moving. It's really hard to cast uh, heals, especially for shaman, uh, while you move. And uh, I bite the dust here. Basically, I was killed by uh, all the curses uh, which. Uh, Warlock put on this boss because when he links to somebody, all the damage uh, your group does to the boss is uh, translated to you as well or to the person linked. And uh, with uh, Warlock, it's pretty hard to remove the curses. I don't, I don't know if they actually can do it, so you will, you will get excessive amount of damage. Well, sorry everybody for my rambling, I hope uh, you get something from this video, if nothing else, just a little bit of fun, and I'm sorry I can't give you your 20 minutes of life back, so... I hope you enjoyed it, this was Wolfgard, your Resto Shaman, and hopefully you get another video soon. See you everybody!